What is something men have been doing since the 18th century all across the United States that involves dirt and hard work? Coal mining. The mining economy has been in business for years, but recently they've come up with a new form called mountaintop removal. <clears throat> Basically, miners blow off the top of mountains and retrieve coal from the loose soil. According to an article in, in the National Geographic magazine of March 2006, more than 50% of all electrical energy is produced by coal, meaning the lights in our homes <clears throat> would not work if it weren't for this coal. Now, there have been many problems though, and in my speech I will talk about two negative effects on why mountaintop removal should be banned. The first negative effect affects something that surrounds us every day, the beauty in our world, the mother of all things, the environment. Specifically, mountaintop removal takes place in the Appalachian Mountains, which is the most biologically diverse region in the U.S., according to biologicaldiversity.com. <laughs> Hundreds of different animals roam the mountains. Millions of green trees grow as tall as this building, but instantly, they vanish due to mountaintop removal. The Environmental Protection Agency states in 2012 that 1.2 million acres of forest were destroyed. So hundreds of different animals, species, plants, everything, wildlife, destroyed, gone forever. Also, toxic chemicals like selenium and sulfate are polluting the, water system, the, the waterways uh, in the Appalachian area and it's polluting more than 2,000 miles of stream. That's about half the length of the world's longest river, the Nile River. Also, as you can see from the picture, the water is, is a bit a rusty color, orange color. So the people in this area have to constantly buy purified water, water to drink, to cook, and also to bathe. Speaking of water, there's also another harmful effect called slurry ponds. A slurry pond is a man-made lake filled with waste from coal mining. Now for some reason, the coal mining companies tend to put these near um, small towns or cities, and sometimes they tend to collapse. A great example would be Martin County, West Virginia. According to MotherNatureNetwork.com, there's a slurry pond in Martin County, West Virginia that collapsed, wrecking hundreds of homes and even killing seven people. As you can see, mountaintop removal has a great effect on the environment. Now that I've talked about the environmental effects, let me talk about the actual effect on the land. Reclaimed land is the use of land after mining. Uh, coal mining companies tend to plant trees in this area to produce, to replace the ones that they've destroyed, but they fail to, to plant native and uh, a diverse amount of trees. So this is not helping the biodiversity in this region, making life harder for the animals and plants to live. Also, coal mining companies claim that the land is used for prisons, for schools, and even malls, but how much of it is actually used? The Natural Resource Defense Council did a study. They looked at 410 different mountaintops, and out of the 410, only 26 of them had economic development. That's only 6.3%. <coughs> As you can see, the use of reclaimed land is not being used very efficiently for our economy. Overall, mountaintop removal is terrible for our environment and society. Trees are being destroyed. Waterways are being polluted and people are even dying. Our land is being wasted away when it should just be left alone. This needs to end now before a whole environment is damaged and destroyed by the selfish process of mining companies. We need to stop them before we have nothing left of our beautiful world. Thank you.